Hey there folks, this is DMC Jedi Man Gaming and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia. Uh, this is still the first game in the series, The Dark Descent. Hope everyone's been enjoying this. Uh, don't forget if you like my content, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to stay notified when I upload. Check out my main channel sometime if you like taste tests, trailer reactions, unboxings, and reviews. And feel free to follow DMC Jedi Man's Den on social media. I'm currently on Facebook, Twitter, Discord with a corrected link, and Blue Sky. Links, as always, will be down below. So, let's, uh, let's get this recording started. Starting the recording right now. Okay. And it does say we have an hour. Uh, it's been a while since I've recorded an episode of this. Hopefully I remember how to do things in here. say it's kind of loud. Hold on. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. Okay. There's my lantern again. Well, that's concerning. Pretty sure this is going backwards. Yeah, entrance hall. Oh, I don't think I had seen this before. Okay, we're in a new spot, by the way.
Ah. More tinder boxes. Oh, I wonder. Down I go. Well, I made it to the cellar archives. He crashed through the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. God, that's so fucking loud! Whoa! What the hell?! What the hell?! Ow! What the fucking hell?! I am about to die!
And dead. Keep out of the water. No fucking shit. I'm not in the water. You can't get me. You can't get me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm not in the water! I'm not in the water! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Entirely sure this is doable. Now everything has a red tint to it. I do believe I am fucked here. Like, even if I'd made that fucking jump, I think that door was sealed. I think I have to go into the other two rooms to do something to open the fucking thing. Okay, whatever, uh, I've been... Okay, you're there. I could have sworn that fucking uh, door was open for a moment. Not in the water! Not in the water! You can't get me! Blah, 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 blah.
Is there a reason to even be in here? Alas, poor York, I knew you well. Trying to remember. Like, I'm sure there's. I'm sure I'm able to throw things. There. I'm not in the water. You can't get me. Well, now I need to use this. Get up there! Well, I'm fucking dead. May as well take the death and continue again. Yes! No shit keep out of the water! You made it pretty fucking hard to keep out of it! Be nice if I could pick one of these up to throw, but that's not going to happen, is it?
me make it, let me make it. <sighs> oh goody, another gate? Where the hell's the switch for this one? I'm going to be very angry if I have to make it through the first gate again. Super fucking angry. Okay, it's that was a checkpoint. Thank goodness. Problem is, I'm not sure where the uh, switch is for this room. Oh, is that a, uh, I think I see a valve over there. Where the hell is it? I do believe I'm going to have to make a run for it. Probably going to die. Well, I made it uh, over that part.
just have to do this whole room again? Yep, have to do the whole room again. <sighs> Hollow Needle. I don't know what that does for me. <sighs> I don't see anything else in here I need. Get me out of that! Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help! He cried as the ocean swallowed him again. Oh good! More water! I'm gonna die. Ah. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this! He felt himself being hosted out of the ocean. The lacquered hall of the SS Hortensia glittered in the soothing warm yellow light of the setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean reaching towards the coast of Portugal and thought, Is this another dream? Hey! Achievement! Escape artist! Oh, oh, fuck you water! Fuck you! Oh, holy shit that was intense! Nope. <sighs> Storage. Just looking at all the places in this lit area before I start going into anything else. I need a moment to breathe.
Okay, that is creepy. I'm assuming we have to put the wings back on this thing, maybe. Now that's the way that thing opened the door. It's like not going that way yet. So we'll check upstairs, then we'll go to storage, then we'll go through the door that opened on its own. So there's a door here that goes to the study. The guest room. Let's check the guest room first, because I don't... He tried to fit the pieces together, but like the sand dunes, they shifted when you weren't looking. Well, this game definitely got scary finally! <laughs> that fucking water section! Ugh. Oh, good. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Ooh, piece of paper. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Hey, uh, any of these drawers have anything? Oh, I will take that. Hey, you. Out of the way. of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. 
He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Ooh, a crowbar. That's going to be useful. It's like, no, I want to close the middle drawer. Make sure whether there's anything in there. Pick up the tinder box. Picked up the crowbar. one of those journals. I just want to grab other things before going for journals. What's the bottom drawer contain? Nothing of value. Not going. Wait, is that a. Ah! I thought I was hidden. I'm probably fucked. Because I didn't get in here quick enough. It saw me go in. Might as well face my death. Come on, kill me. You're gonna kill me anyway, so might as well get it over with. Yeah, I know! I tried! He saw me! Fuck you! Fourth of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Okay, well, I think I'm done in here. Let's go back out. 
Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damn curiosity. Okay. So... I'm not gonna try the study yet. Because I feel like that's where I'm trying to get to. I'm going to try this back door here. And then after that, I'll... Okay, where does this lead to? Storage. Okay, well, let's check storage. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. There's a cave-in area, so I can't go any farther there. Oh, goody. I think I'm gonna get out of this area then. I don't have enough things to light my way, so... Sorry lady, you're on your own for now until I can, uh... gather more things. Okay, I think this is the way I go to get out. All right, back where I can actually see again. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. <sighs> like, I'll go back down there once I can, uh, once I can do more. I guess we'll check out what the door that opened on its own has for me. Then we'll check the study, then I guess I'll have to go down there. I don't really have much other options left. You have an ascending room. Would it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction.
Okay, that's the ascending thing. Let's look around in here a bit more, see if I can find anything else. Okay, I know there's a door there. So let's see where this leads. Of course the machine room door is locked. I love that it's locked! Okay. Well, let's see, uh... And of course that's not working, so... Alright, up to the study, I guess. That's the only other place I have access to that I can check besides the dark room, and that's if the study's not locked. It's not locked! He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached for the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. To my most trusted student and friend, Dr. Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromes described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was, it was as it was told about an underground Mithra temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged, its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in the nearby village called Altstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the, ca the cavern. I went inside, and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigma en enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder. The ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me of your interest in ongoing research into mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Alstead. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippia.
chambers of the human skull. Just waiting until I'm no longer in this, and then I can check this. Animal experiment. Canis lupus familiaris, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found amongst humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine the, this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Take the tinder box. Ah! Another note. Anatomy Frontiers, 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I am still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to, require, to acquire. Okay, let's get out of this uh, fucked up room and find the next fucked up room. Pretty sure it's this way I need to go. Oh, another cave in. Good. I've seen all the rooms here. Back out into the main area. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. <sighs> okay. So, I got a Tinder bot, so. I already know what's down there. Haven't looked over here yet. Ooh. Lantern oil, please. Yes. And a couple more tinder boxes. Okay. We can go back into this uh, dark hell hole. Like before her, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do much down here because I ran out of lantern oil, but now I've got some of that as well as more tinder boxes. I'll use the tinder boxes first and then once I run out of them, I'll use the lantern. Also, this recording is about to end because we're 56 minutes in, so... We're pretty much just about to the point where we're going to wrap up this uh, episode. 
hopefully these uh, stayed lit. What the? Ow. Oh, right. I forget I have to manually put that in. I'm dead. I'm dead. Sorry. <sighs> what things do I currently have or not have? Probably dead again. Regarding explosive mixture, Alexander, I have prepared explosives you needed for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather brain. Oh, well, game will clip recorded. Good thing it happened while we were not in the middle of something. Let me start up a second recording. Starting up the second recording right now. Okay, second recording has been started. Says we have an hour. Oh. Okay. I want to check. Uh, I want to finish that one. Okay. Please try to tell your Featherbrain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you're ready to go. Agrippa.
suggest it's back up here. Back with the monster. You know what? Let's go back out here first. Like, I'll go back down there when I need to. Probably will need to, but... We've got drill parts, so let's uh, see what that opens up for us real quick. Snuff out the lantern, because no sense in wasting uh, stuff. Hey! Uh, try both of those on this. Okay, I think I have to go down into that other room again. I don't want to be down here with the monster. But down here with the monster is what I must be. That being said, I if we die to the monster again here, I think that'll be it for this one. You know, like I wanted to make a little more progress, but I also think I've had just about all I can uh, tolerate for the scares in this game for right now. So yeah, down here again.
picked up explosive. I'm assuming that I need to uh, use the explosive here. How the hell do I do this? Okay, what the? Do I have to throw something at it? Like, I thought I was out of the way, but mm, apparently not. Are you oil? Oh, dead meat room, wonderful. If 
Christ, I'm sure the uh, lantern's gonna go out any moment now. Ah! In case of a missing rod, a full set of three rods is unavailable. There's one rod in the inner study rooms which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it is absolutely necessary, always use the, stair, the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Well, that was close. Probably going to die here anyway. Like, I am running. I am running. Oh, goody! There's another one! I think I'm done. Once I'm in the safety of that other area, I'm saving and quitting. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. I just want to see if I can take this elevator real quick. If I can, I'll take it up and then I'll save and stop. Okay, the rods don't work on that. I don't think they'll work on this either. No. Okay, well I think we are going to save this here and stop this episode. <sighs> oh boy, that was uh that was terrifying. I hope everyone did enjoy it. I'm not sure how much more of this game there is, but hopefully you all join me next time. Till then, this has been DMC Jedi Man Gaming, and I am signing off. Peace, everybody.